Welcome to Package Your Genius. I'm your host, Amanda Miller Littlejohn. I'm a former print journalist turned PR and personal branding pro, and I am here to help high achievers like you bring your genius ideas to life. Whatever gift you have to give the world, I want to be a catalyst for your next genius move. If you're ready to stop overthinking it and start putting yourself out there, you're in the right place. Let's go. Happy holidays, Genius Tribe. Wow. Okay. The end of 2019 is drawing near and the holidays are in full swing. So I hope you are enjoying some quality time with those who make you smile. And you're also taking a break to really get refreshed for a new year. So before I jump into today's episode... I want to make a couple of announcements to let you know that, first of all, the Brand with Purpose Personal Branding Planner is now available in both a print and digital version. So shout out to everyone who's already gotten their copy of the planner, the print version, and sent me notes to share Um when you received it and that you're already writing in it and planning and getting things together. So I'm super excited to see all of the great things that you are going to do with that planner this year. But for those of you who are not really into paper and prefer to have a digital something or other to record your thoughts and make your goals, we've created a digital version that you can print out if you want and write on it directly, or you can type directly on the document. So I'll include a link to where you can get either planner or both if you're so inclined in the show notes. Second announcement, I'm super excited to be hosting a free virtual brand planning party on Sunday, December 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So my plan for the virtual party is to essentially help us all get settled, present and clear and reflect on the year that's passed and get ready for the year that's coming. I'll also be sharing journal prompts that you can use throughout the year to stay focused and make sure that you are moving with intention and purpose as you go throughout the year, as well as I'll be sharing how to use the Brand with Purpose Planner. So those of you who have it, um, you'll definitely want to come to this free Crowdcast event because I'll be breaking down exactly my vision for each of the pages and how you can use it. And so if you haven't gotten your planner, there's still time to order it. You don't have to have the Brand with Purpose planner to attend the Crowdcast. You can bring whatever planner that you have, but I will be sharing exactly how you can use the planner that I created during this live stream. Sunday, December 29th. And lastly, um, we just wrapped up our December small group intensive, and we're doing another one in January. So if you are interested in being a part of a small group coaching intensive to map out your year, especially your brand and media and speaking and revenue goals and how you're going to reach those goals. If you're interested in working with me and a small group of other high achievers during the month of January, it's just four weeks, then hit me at hello at PackageYourGeniusAcademy.com. Again, that is hello at PackageYourGeniusAcademy.com. So we do some strategic planning and also some coaching. So I deep dive with everyone to make sure that they're thinking of their goals in the right way. I help you brainstorm new things for your brand. And I think the biggest piece is, I help you focus on which area of your brand and business you want to add some extra intention to this year, what services you should offer and what, you know, platform edition you should make. So is it time for you to write a book? Is it time for you to launch a podcast? 
what is your audience begging you for and what is your current brand in a position to support you with? And so I help you make those decisions. So again, if you're interested in that, hello at PackageYourGeniusAcademy.com and put January intensive in your subject line. So I know that it's for the January intensive. Let's dive into my topic today, which is all about giving ourselves credit. Recently during our December small group intensive, I asked the students to think about what happened this past year. So we did a reflection exercise and one of the questions was, what were your wins. So what were your wins for this year? What are you proud of? What did you accomplish? And one of our members went down the list of her 2019 clients and she had some really great clients, some awesome corporate clients, Fortune 500 and 100 clients. And so the group was understandably impressed. And when we expressed our excitement for her, she kind of shrugged us off saying that, um, one of the clients that she'd mentioned was just a repeat client. So it wasn't really a big deal. And in that moment, I realized how easy it is for us high achievers to become immune to our own accomplishments. Before the triumph of a win has settled in, we're on to the next. After jumping the hurdle, we've raised the bar again before our feet even touch the ground. And the danger in all of this is a diminished and completely false self image. We are bosses out here, but mentally we see ourselves as ordinary people who've yet to do big things. When in actuality, we've done a lot more than we give ourselves credit for. What would happen if you gave yourself more credit? How would things be different? How might you see yourself? What might you have the courage to do? Who might you have the confidence to approach? And what rooms would you be willing to walk into? What clients would you have the gall to pitch? So no, it's not harmless or humble to downplay your accomplishments even to yourself. Now, I am not immune. This is a lesson I am still learning. Every year when I reflect on what I made happen, I fight myself to acknowledge how insane some of the stuff I'm doing is, how otherworldly, how impressive, you know, writing books, launching cohorts, coaching clients, seeing clients become New York Times bestsellers or be featured all over the media, seeing my clients literally grow their businesses into, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollar enterprises from zero. It's crazy. But what I've learned is this, just because an accomplishment may have become your norm, doesn't make it normal. Just because you have crossed this hurdle multiple times, doesn't make it less of a hurdle. It all still counts. Now I'm not encouraging you to rest on your laurels by any means. Keep reaching for the stars, but as you reach, I want you to become present to the fact that you've already beaten the odds. You've already done some really big things. You've already had some major accomplishments and those accomplishments deserve to be celebrated. So stop to acknowledge what it took for you to get here at the end of 2019. What did it take to be in this place where you can reflect on all that you've done, all that you've been through, all of the mountains you've climbed and the obstacles that you have conquered to be in this place, to be in this space, to even have the time and space to reflect on a year and to look forward to the future year. I want you to acknowledge all of that and I want you to Recognize that it is a big deal, even if it's become your norm to win in this way. Your winning is someone else's dream. The things that you now take for granted, other people would just kill for. And so I want you to remember and stay present to the fact that they are still a big deal. You have my permission 
to brag on yourself. Matter of fact, I want you to tag me on Instagram. I'm at Package Your Genius and let me know what do you have to brag about from 2019? I want to see you bragging. I want to hear the amazing things that you did this year, the things that you're proud of, the energy that you're taking into 2020 and the things that you went for even though you were afraid, even though you weren't sure you'd be able to make it happen. I want to hear about it. So tag me at Package Your Genius and let me know what can you brag about from 2019. And let's leave downplaying our accomplishments in 2019. Let's not take this into 2020. So I will see you on Sunday, December 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern for our Brand with Purpose end of year virtual planning party. Bring your planners, bring your favorite pens, bring your tea, your coffee, your wine, your cognac, whatever uh, floats your boat. But join me there. We're going to have a good time and we're going to get some great planning done for the new year. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.